Okay. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Rosanna Soto, where's she heading? Okay, welcome back to Dre Driver 2, this time with a new playthrough, and this time it will be a playthrough with a mod. No challenge playthrough this time, just a mod playthrough. Um, I don't recall the, I think it's alt, called the alt mod pack by Black Daddy. I also helped pitch in quite a bit. I cut, recolored two different cars. Well, gave two different cars a new color, and uh, helped set up all the light positioning on all the car textures. AKA the particle lights, not the texture lights. So without further ado, let's begin. I think we'll be skipping the cutscenes this time because there's nothing new there. Jones here. We got ourselves some action. I found our witness, and he's real jumpy. Get ready to make a move. Get your butt over here before he blows. I decided to put back on the uh, Christmas, like re Christmas reskin. I might work on it again soon, maybe as well. But I've decided to put it back on because it is December and it's the holidays, so might as well. You can see there's already a lot of differences throughout the campaign. Well, one, we're doing this mission at night, and there's pursuers on my tail. The only problem with adding uh, custom pursuers, I don't think we have the whole proximity trigger check to prevent any more from respawning and to slow down. So this means a new one could respawn here any second. Yeah, one did, but I'm already here, so we're good. He's making a move. He's in the blue sedan across the street. Punch it. Now we're at dawn.
about 20 seconds left of this chase. Rude. I don't know why I didn't just drive, drive, stri drive straight there to begin with. We lost him. Stay with the train. We'll make the pinch when he gets off. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the game crashed because I completely forgot this uh, mod requires a custom EXE that Black Daddy made. Otherwise, you may encounter issues like what I just did there, where the game can crash. Well, this is going to be a lot more tricky now. At least I don't have to worry about the game crashing anymore. Oh, sh... Uh, messed up. Thankfully there's only one cop, it'd be out of hand if there could be more than one for this tiny kind of mission. Come on, get out of the way. Thankfully, Black Daddy was generous and increased the amount of time you get since pursuers can get on your tail now in this version of the mission. Ten a.m. on the dot, and the Brazilians heading out, just like the man said. We're gonna sit tight and tail them. Hopefully, me doing the first two missions without the custom EXE doesn't, doesn't cause any issues for the later missions. I don't think it should though. I'm lucky I didn't get encounter any crashes on the first mission without the custom EXE. If you don't have the custom EXE, you'll encounter crashes due to uh, 
some c code that's in the normal exe for missions that have cops enabled that don't normally have cops enabled basically it's hard to explain In the original pursuer mission. Oh, it gave me full felony. Not that that's an issue. Okay, that hurt. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, he missed. At first I was planning on switching my cars when the cop died, but... Oh shoot. I don't think that's necessary anymore now that I'm this far. But I'll still do it, just so that way you guys can see this car, because I haven't got the driving yet. I'll mess that up. He unfortunately had to make all the tops of these vehicles black because he wanted to fix this extra side mirror that they accidentally left behind on the texture before they changed the model to have it mirror itself or side mirror I should say but for some reason this car has a bug with it when you try to use a custom texture for the rooftop and that is its color palette will break and only resort to using the one only one color palette which is black it's not that big of a deal but it's still unfortunate Uh, time's getting kind of tight. Not sure if I'll make it in time. I don't approve of lowering the time limit on missions. They were already balanced difficulty enough. Look at that. I should have made that. That's bull that's BS. Also, I don't no, yeah, I don't. This is the first playthrough I've done with act where I, my controller vibrations actually working with my PlayStation controller now, because the no perfect no HUD mod was an older build before it was before vibration was supported for PlayStation controllers. Xbox was the only one at that time. Oh shoot. So I guess this time I will not be switching cars, just to be safe. Time's too strict to fool around. But I feel like that's kind of lame. It takes away your player's freedom from being able to use different cars.
I think I'll make it this time. If I don't keep getting hit by traffic going to the intersection. This cop better lose me, because I bet a lot of people don't know that there's actually a lose the tail. A lose the tail requirement. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that, Black Daddy. Which is why I don't approve of you lowering the time limit. That's frustrating, man. All because the cops spawned super late and he was heading in the same direction I was. They were able to get a head start on how close they normally would be able to get. That's unlucky, but it's also annoying. Lowering time limits is not a good idea. Increasing time limits is okay, but lowering them when they're already strict enough in some situations. It's just annoying. Well, my car is almost already destroyed, and there's no way for me to get around this without activating them. And how strict this time limit is, I can't even switch cars. Even with that last attempt, I had only four seconds left. I can still win, but it's just annoying. I should have already been done. I almost ran into that. I wasn't paying attention. Losing them probably wasn't a good idea. I should have probably just had them follow me the whole way there. That way they'd slow down and I wouldn't have to deal with another situation of the same thing happening again. Weird roadblock. It doesn't even cover the whole road. Okay, I should lose them this time. It's just whether if I have enough time to get to the uh, objective or not. Oh, man. Four seconds again, but at least that time I made it. I had a feeling it was going this way. Alright, rubber banding, don't feel me now. This doesn't chase the gunman where I have to take him down, I just gotta follow him. Oh, that was awful. Oh, that's BS! I didn't lose that much speed, you're kidding me.
We went that way again. I can't get around the corner fast enough to see which way they go. There's one flaw with Black Daddy's recordings. Although I like the paths he takes, he doesn't wait up long enough at the beginning like you're supposed to on a lot of these to let the player catch up and then initiate the chase. They do that a lot in the recordings, but they do it literally, usually off screen in places where the player can't see it, like around the corner or something. Well, could I get the chance to redeem myself in this chase? It's an emphasis on attempt. Okay. Yeah, I failed. All because that stupid car spun me out. What am I doing? I'm stuck on stuff. That was awful. That was a five minute chase anyways. I don't... Like, I enjoy chases, but there's a limit on how long they should be. Five minutes is a bit excessive. The chases where you have to take them down being longer is nice, because it gives you more time. But the chases where you don't take them down and you're just following is a bit more on the boring side, because you're just following them. I say more on the boring side because they can be fun. Also, the whole U-turn and going back isn't the best thing to do in these chases because if someone's behind you and they're following you, you do that, you, you gotta remember your car's unlimited mass and you could literally ruin their run. Or, well, ruin the attempt because you're, you just literally destroyed their car. That's why the devs never did U-turns in any of their replays. Cheeky. That was cheeky. He tried it. He acted like he was going to go on the offer and then, and then decided didn't do it at the last second. Thankfully, I was also able to uh, get out of there. You couldn't use the right, right of way off ramp. You had to go in oncoming traffic. Where are we going? This isn't the way to Goose Island. Why are we here? We're almost back where we started. Almost. We're a bit more south, actually. Or we north. I don't remember. I didn't know this intersection of the alleyway existed. Oh, there's another one. Black Daddy showed me places I've never been before in his replays. Also, um, not to be rude, but why that name out of all names you could have picked? It's still a bit awkward to say coming from my mouth. Ah!
Well, we got to the point where the replays got so long it can't record any more cars. So now it's just me and him. Or it's hard coded to, to where there can only be a certain number of cars in a replay. That's something like that. Almost done at this chase. Yeah, and I did it. Continue. So we take the brown and the green car. Taking the green. Cause why not? I could have sworn that van doesn't pull out far enough, originally. Whoops. And easy. I think that timer was reduced as well. Now for one of my favorite things that was added to the mod. That is cut and that is restored cut missions from the pre-release. Without any cheat engine or nothing, you can even you can even boot these up through the uh, replay mission menu. All thanks to the custom uh, redriver 2exe he uh, created. I was actually the one that came up with the timer for this mission and re turned it on because originally there was no timer. I do wish the mission was a bit longer, which 
I had ideas of like making a detour so the player would have to make a slightly longer uh I would have to take a slightly longer route to get her to the destination. However, I am don't know how to do that, so hasn't been done. The skybox is also daytime, but it was clearly meant to use either likely dusk because the next mission is going to be at nighttime. And then something I wish we could have changed is put the objective error so you have to get inside the yellow car. All this could probably be fixed in the future. Now they're buzzing. Time to clear out. Make for the train. I'm not sure if the timer is reduced on here or not. If it if it wasn't, I want to uh, be cheeky. Technically, this vehicle is slow, but if he didn't reduce the timer, it should still be able to make it. Although I just realized uh, this could be a grave mistake of a decision because I completely forgot he increased the amount of pursuers in some missions. On this one it's three. I don't remember if he said he fixed it or not, but anytime we've in, uh, turned on pursuers on a mission that normally doesn't have pursuers or increased the amount of pursuers, it does cause some issues, and that is that uh, we had to remove the cop, some sort of update cop function, which um, broke the mechanic that stops the cops from following you when you once you get to a point of the destination too close, as well as stop them from responding. Right now, I'm kind of brushing against stuff on purpose to get my felony up higher, so that way uh, maybe these guys can push me along a bit faster, because I think he did reduce the timer on this. Uh, how low is my felony? Okay, there we go. Yeah, the van is pitifully slow. So slow that they'll always be constantly pushing against your bumper. If, if you get a high enough felony. Unless you're playing on a medium or easy, then they'll ram you instead every every now and then on hard difficulty though they don't they don't have a cooldown for the ram thanks to soapy uh, listening out for my plea to keep some of the original difficulty in the game and he did for hard difficulty Let's see, do I need to turn this road? Yes. Let's try... Push me! Do we have enough time is the question here. Please no. Ten. Ten seconds. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, I did it! it was point sixteen left on the clock. <laughs> yeah, as you can see there, they didn't back off. That's the only issue of increasing the max cops. Alright, that is Chicago done. I'll see you in the next part for Havana.